How's it going everyone? Today I'm going to be building a diorama from the book For Whom the Bell Tolls by Ernest Hemingway. In this story there is a bridge which is kind of the focal point of the action. Caught my attention the first time I read it so I decided to build it. Used a combination of base wood and balsa wood. And I used this little applicator bottle, filled it with some wood glue, and it made it very, very easy to accurately put down the glue in small amounts. They're super inexpensive. You can find them at any hobby store. Definitely recommend getting a few if you like doing projects like this. They come in handy. Built the base out of insulation foam. Just the pink stuff with uh, the pink panther on it. You can get it at any hardware store. wanted to have a stone structure on either end of the bridge I did find a photo reference online from a movie that was made of this of this story a long time ago I've never seen the movie but uh, the frame the still frame of one of the shots is what I used uh, for, for reference for this bridge. I carved in all of the stonework with a dull carpenter's pencil and then pressed in some of the stones to give it a little bit of uh, texture variation. If you're not familiar with the story, of For Whom the Bell Tolls. It follows an American partisan who is fighting for the Republic during the Spanish Civil War. He finds some anti-fascist guerrillas behind enemy lines and teams up with them to try and blow up this bridge. The, from what I found on the on the internet, it doesn't look like the Spanish made their own military vehicles at the time. It looked like they used Russian military vehicles left over from World War One. So I found a Russian World War One military troop transport truck and made my own out of styrene. Everything was scratch built, including the fenders, except for the wheels. I uh, sacrificed a cheap matchbox car. If it had been a Hot Wheels car, I never would have the wheels off but the off brand was okay so this bridge is blown up in the story sorry if that spoiled it for you most people should have read this already though But they have to blow up the bridge, and one of the members of the guerrilla group is kind of a hothead, and in a dumb move, he throws their explosives in the river. So they have to use grenades to blow up the bridge, which means they have to be super close. Um, it ends up killing one of them when the explosion goes off. But uh, 
Yeah, they do actually they do actually blow up the bridge. I am not super happy with how the explosion effect turned out. I wanted to do the LEDs inside of a cotton ball. And I just think it's not not super convincing. It was good it was a good learning experience. Um, but I wish it had turned out a little better. I don't know if it was that the LEDs weren't bright enough or that the cotton wasn't just wasn't painted correctly. But um, I think it kind of takes away from the overall look of the, the diorama. But that's okay. It's a good good learning experience. Thank you so much for watching, we'll see you next time.